The first thing I have to do is to locate where the fault lies. One, two, three, four, six, five, seven. So obviously the five and the six are in the wrong order. So what I need to do is take out the five, the word five from the tape, and put it where it belongs after the word four. I find the mistake now by scrubbing, which is this activity. That's the word four. Four. Six. The word six. Five. So what I need to do now is to locate the beginning and the end of the word five. Five. That's the beginning of the word five. And what I do is I mark the tape with a red pencil in this case as the tape is white. Like so. So I make a mark on the tape. Then I search for the end of the word five. That's the end of the word five. And I mark the tape. So, so now I've marked the tape and I know where the faulted word lies. Now I need to get to the insertion point, the part where I'm actually going to put the, the word five into. So I, again, I, I scrub. That's the word six. That's the word four. Four. So the word five comes after the word four. Four. And before the word six. So again, I mark the space which is the insert point. Like so. Now I go to the beginning of the word five. Six. Five. Lifted out of the heads. I put it into the editing block. And using a razor blade, I cut it. Then I go to the end of the word five, which is my other mark. I don't know if you can see this, but it's there. And I put that back into the editing block. And I cut that. I remove the tape. So this on this piece of tape now is the word five. I very carefully lay it down so that it doesn't lose its correct alignment. I butt push these two ends together because this is the word six and seven. I take a layer of sticky tape and I join the tape together. Rub it down with my nail. Remove it from the editing block. Finish off the joint. And now I'm going to find the insert point. Which of course comes after the word four. Move the tape. There's my mark. I don't know if you can see it, but there it is. I put that into the editing block, like so. I cut it, like so. 
move this end out, take the word 5, join it together with the word 4, stick that on. When you remove tape from the editing block, it's necessary that you pull it towards you. This avoids damage to the edges of the tape. Lay it down, run over it with my nail. Join these two parts together. Remove the tape from the block. Using the back of my nail, I fix the joint. Put the tape back into the tape reel. Run it back to the beginning. And play. And with a bit of luck, the Numer numerals should be in the right order. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, the timing could have been a little bit better, but that basically is how we edit recording tape.